Hey YouTube, Parson Rick here. Got a little bit of time early in the morning. It's about six o'clock. Um, Want to do a VR for Nika Piper's 100 sub giveaway. Uh, first, congratulations. Good channel you got going there. Uh, I've been smoking. Can't smoke indoors, so just went out. My little Dagner Cobb. Just uh, ordered two more of these from Arista Cobb. I uh, really like it. They're pretty good smokers. And in it, I've got some Casey Jones. It's a, it's a cherry aromatic. Pretty good. It's very light. Uh, I don't like the cough syrupy ones. This one's, this one was a bit of a surprise, and I just ended up ordering a tub of it. So it's been pretty good. And I just, I just keep the, the pipe here loaded, sitting, uh, sitting on my desk. So sneak out every once in a while so uh nika uh, your your question for your vr was pretty interesting and, and of course this one is the people debate all the time if i had all the money i needed what would i do with it and and like most people i have lots of lofty and grandiose ideas if i had unlimited funds but uh I, basically i'd travel i quit work you know, I'm I'm old and I'm busted up. You know, I know I'm gonna die at work, and uh, like they've had three guys die on the job here where I am, just exhaustion. <laughs> you know, working too much. Um, but I'd take off. Wife and I just travel, ride the motorcycles, take care of the kids, send them off. They love to travel and you know just meet him in scotland or something one of my trips that i've always wanted to do this is my bucket list i'll never achieve it but it's to take my motorcycle from here oregon up to victoria bc which i've made that ride many times and go all the way across to prince edward island jump on the ferry go up to newfoundland and then go to labrador greenland iceland over the Scandinavian countries and then ride through Europe. That'll never happen. You know, I'll never have the money to do that or the time to do that. And uh, so that's what I do. And then meet the kids in Scotland or Spain or someplace, you know, along the way and let them do their thing and have their life and enjoy it. You were talking about things you'd do, and and you had a bunch of you know theological service things. And I, I wanted to give you a, a little word, if I may, from a, uh, an old preacher. Uh, everything you listed that you want to do, you can do without money. Um, I know because I've done it. If you step out to do the work of God, He will provide, and that's a really good benchmark to making sure you're on the right track. Uh, I have found that if I'm doing what God wants me to do, although there may be a sacrifice and there may be a struggle, the money necessary appears. If I'm going the wrong way, that money does not appear. And that way is blocked. Um, I have planted a church you know not alone with with friends I've planted a church I've helped pastor a church all those things are all the things you listed are eminently doable trusting the money to appear uh, just like Jesus sending Peter down to the down to the docks to throw in a line and grab a fish and there was money in the mouth not more money than you needed but what money you needed and uh you know all, at, at the church we planted we were all bivocational uh you know we worked all day and did the things of the church at night and visited went to the hospitals uh ho <coughs> bought a building uh we bought a a building worth seven and a half million dollars for 235 and we had no money. Let me give you a little story, if I may. I was working for the city 
at that time. And we were switching from one retirement to another because the one retirement plan we were on was just horrible. And all the money that we put into it was just disappearing. So two of us that went to our church worked, worked for the city. And we said that we, when we did that transfer, we would just cash it out and whatever it was, we'd just give it to the church because we were building at that time. And uh, so we did. And, and we knew that the value of the money that we had in there was very low. The day we took that money out, it doubled. The amount of money I was able to give made the down payment. Between my donation and a friend of mine, one of the other guys, who was a Vietnam veteran, that the day we need, the, the, like the week before, we needed to come up with a down payment. He got a retroactive disability for Agent Orange and received a check for $136,900. His tithe off that check and my doubled disbursement paid the down payment. And uh, we'd have never got the property. And now, you know, feed. Uh, they feed veterans every Friday and the VA comes down and, and uh, does all the paperwork for the veterans and pays for it and uh, house, they house, last year they housed 435 veterans. So, and this is a church where nobody makes any money, nobody has any money, but God provides. Uh, because they're willing to step forward and give their time and their talent and God gives the treasures so uh, don't let waiting for someday to stop you from what you feel you're being called to do and if you saw one of my previous videos uh, <laughs> I think it was my uh, my video to Tennessee Bull maybe uh, don't get burned out <laughs> while you're doing it because um, it can do that. So congratulations on your subs. I uh, hope you come up with a way to, to do the ministry you want to do. Congratulations on a good class the other day. And uh, I know how satisfying that is. Uh, keep it up. God bless. Parson Rick out.